Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful set of teal and gold resin beach coasters with a matching wine glass holder. After she mixed her part A and part B resin for three to five minutes, she separates it into smaller cups to add the pigments. The first pigment that she's using is Blue Diamond by Just Resin, and she makes sure to stir it well in the container before adding a small amount onto her wooden stick to then mix into the resin. And the second pigment she's using is Peacock Green, also by Just Resin. In her third cup, she's adding this white shade of mica powder by Resin Pro, and she's also going to be adding Luxury Ghost Gold Pearls by Deepon. She takes a small amount and mixes it all together. She adds more clear resin into the cup with the peacock green pigment, mixes it all together, and then decides to add some of the ghost pearls into the pigmented resin. She separated some clear resin into this small silicone muffin holder and she's also adding the Luxury Ghost Pearls as well. Then she pours in her gold sand and mixes it all together. As usual, I'll have affiliate links in my description where you can purchase some of these products so make sure to check that out. She adds a little bit more of the ghost pearls and then starts to apply the sand into the molds using a small spoon. She's also using the spoon to push the sand down so that it doesn't go over the mold. And now she's pushing the sand a little further out towards the center. She takes her blue diamond pigmented resin and starts to pour it at the very top of the molds. followed by pouring her peacock green pigmented resin right below. She pours clear resin in the area where the sand is, and this causes any of the blue pigmented resin that has gotten too close to the sand to be pushed back outwards. Next, she takes her cup with the white mica powder and the ghost pearls and pours a small amount into a silicone muffin holder. Then she adds some of the peacock green pigmented resin and this creates a beautiful lighter shade. And she pours it near the shoreline. Here she's just going back and pouring some more of the blue diamond pigmented resin as well as the peacock green pigmented resin. And you can see on the wine glass holder that the pigmented resin has gone over the sand area. So she pours a little bit of clear resin and that pushes it right back out. And she touches it up a little bit more by adding sand. Using a silicone makeup brush, she blends everything together. And it looks like she had some extra resin, so two more coasters were born. She has some seashells, which she previously spray painted gold and she carefully adds them using tweezers into the sand area.
and she also adds some small gold rocks. She adjusts the placement by using a wooden stick and also pushes them into the sand to make sure that they're not sticking out too much. And 24 hours later, here's a clip of my mom demolding the coasters and the wine glass holder. Now she's going to be adding a second coat in which she'll do the waves and to prepare for that she's turning her coasters around and adding liquid latex to the edges. This protects the back of the coasters and the wine holder so that if any resin pours off over the edge it will cure onto the liquid latex and easily peel off later. She pours the liquid latex on using a small cup and then uses the makeup brush to spread it to the very edge. You can wait as little as 20 to 30 minutes after applying the liquid latex. As you can see here, it's not completely dry, but while tilting the coaster, none of the liquid latex budges, which means that it's completely fine to turn it on the other side and pop it onto a cup. She mixes her part A and part B resin and then pours it into a smaller cup. From this cup, she pours her resin onto the coasters and the wine glass holder and then uses a wooden stick to spread the resin to the edges. She didn't put any of the clear resin onto the sand area and this will create a 3D wave effect. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and when using a torch gun make sure that you're moving it in a quick manner so that you don't burn your resin. Now she's going to be mixing in her gold pigment for the waves and she's using just resin's bright gold. As always, she mixes it in the container first before adding a small amount into her cup of resin. And with the wooden stick, she applies the gold pigmented resin to the shoreline on the coasters and the wine glass holder. She decides to add a thicker amount so she goes back and pours more of the gold pigmented resin from her cup. Now she's using a heat gun to blow out the gold pigmented resin to look like waves. She added a heat resistant top coat and a gold trim and here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.